we've been working on a series of resource centers for user communities. Each of those resource centers contains a set of templates, and templates will help you configure and use ArcGIS. When you find a template you're interested in, you can watch the video to learn how to use it, view it live on the resource center, or download the content of the template to configure it in your organization. You may also want to review the blog for information on technical topics and events happening in your area. When you download a template from the resource center, you'll get a sample geodatabase and some content from a local unit. You'll also receive one or more map documents to help you visualize the content in that geodatabase. Each template comes with an application, and in the case of the tax parcel viewer, that's a simple HTML page and some JavaScript configuration files. We also provide documentation and a getting started guide to help you configure the template in your organization. This morning, I'd like to show you two of the templates we've recently published on the Land Records Resource Center. The first is a tax parcel viewer, and this is a simple web mapping application that provides tax maps and property information. Users can interact with the map to find a parcel they're interested in. When they find that parcel, simply click on it, and they'll be presented with property information. You can also search for a specific tax parcel, sort the results, select a parcel, and you'll see that same information. The tax parcel viewer comes with two base maps. The first is a public access map, and the second is a tax map, which contains the elements you typically see in a local government hard copy tax map. You'll also notice that the tax parcel viewer is configured so information can be shared with others. Users can print that information or email a link to a specific parcel they're interested in. So that's the tax parcel viewer. It's a simple web mapping application that provides tax maps and property information. And configuring it in your community is quite simple. All you need to do is plug in your data, modify a few lines in the configuration file, and then you can publish a tax parcel viewer with your authoritative content. The second template I'd like to show you today is the tax parcel editing template. And this is an example editing application for ArcGIS Desktop. It contains the same sample geodatabase you saw on the tax parcel viewer, an editing map, and a toolbar with a collection of out-of-the-box and custom editing tools to increase the productivity of your parcel maintenance workflow. Now, the parcel maintenance workflow contains several steps, but one of the most important steps is the assignment of parcel identification numbers. At times, this can be a repetitive and time-consuming process, so we've provided a tool to make that easier. After I've selected the parcels I'd like to assign a number to, I can enter in the elements of my parcel number, and in this case, that's the township section block and first two digits of my parcel number. And what you'll notice is that those parcel numbers have been assigned sequentially and the order in which I selected them. So that's just a real quick overview of the tax parcel editing template. And today I showed you two templates from the Land Records Resource Center. But I should also point out that we've published templates for the water utility and public safety communities. In the future, we'll be launching additional resource center and publishing templates for other user communities. And this week, we look forward to getting your feedback on the work we've done to date. Thanks.